Home screen launchers are a huge part of making your phone your own. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and in today's video, let's take a look at the top 10 features, tips and tricks if I might, that one of the most popular launchers of all time, Nova, has to offer. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, once you install Nova Launcher, you don't have to set up your icons all over again. You can import it from your existing launcher. This has issues on some phones, but even then you could set it up on one phone, back up your home screen and then restore it every time you move to a different device. Talking about home screens and icons, you get to customize them. Depending on the screen size and aspect ratios, you could even change the grid size and then even decide how big the icons are to appear. You get to set different sizes for the home screen app drawer and the dock. With the S8 Plus, I find 120% works well. It is not just the icon sizes. You can even change the way the icons themselves look. Download a third-party icon theme pack from the Play Store and choose it. You get fresh looking icons now helping you break the monotony of the defaults. Sometimes you might have some apps like say Nova itself and SwiftKey which post installation you aren't gonna open up like ever. In cases like these you might wanna clean up the app drawer and hide them. That is possible here too. Selecting hide apps, for the sake of demonstration, I'm just hiding apps beginning with the letter B and boom, as you can see, these apps don't show up in the app drawer anymore. This is uber useful at times. Now this isn't the only thing you can do to clean up the app drawer. Enable the tab bar option under app and widget drawers, scroll and select drawer groups. Here let me select a few social apps to sort under a separate tab. Now if you can see these apps I selected show up under a different tab, the social tab. Neat, right? You can also go for a minimalistic look and make your folders transparent. Again, settings, folders, crank up the transparency and change the folder background to none. And you get this, folders without a circle for the background and when you open transparency. Now, if you want to go for an even more minimalistic look, hide the fact that a folder even exists. Tap and hold on the folder, select edit, toggle swipe to open folder. Now the first tab in the folder opens when you tap it. The folder itself only opens on a swipe. You can add this function to an individual app icon too. So do the same, long press on the app icon, select edit, select swipe action. In this case, I'm going to pick the gallery to launch. So now when I tap on the camera, it launches the camera itself, but swipe and it launches the gallery. Sweet. With large phones, sometimes you get the power button placed at awkward locations. To offset that, you can set Nova to lock the screen on a double tap. There are two ways of doing it. I pick draw a black screen till timeout because that's been better for me, but your mileage may vary. Now, one of the new features Google announced is coming with Android O are notification badges. Little dots by the side of icons when you get a notification. You can also enable that with Nova. Customize the location and size of the dots or resort to using iOS-esque notification counts. So for the final feature on today's list, there is something called Labs. Well, these are experimental features you can enable by pressing the volume down key from the Nova settings menu. If you aren't interested in these features and want to hide them back again, just press volume up and it's gone. So that's it guys for this short video about the Nova launcher. Some of these features might be available only on the paid version, but given that the paid version is often on sale for 10 rupees, I think it's definitely worth it. So if launchers and customization are your thing, or even if you're just tired of seeing the same old things on your phone over and over again, do check out Nova. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you did hate this video, do vote it down. But if you did find it interesting, give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed, hit that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4E Tech. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year's Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.